Welcome to Power's Precious Snakes. Today we're going to be doing something a little bit fun. It was a suggestion from my comments and basically it was create an obstacle course to test the intelligence of each one of your snakes. So the snakes that I will be testing in the video today are my ball python Aurora, my checkered garter snake Cypress, and my Florida king snake Ash. Now, I'm going to be making a maze, and so what I'm going to be using for this is one of these art boards from, you can get them from Walmart, Hobby Lobby, really any craft store, um, and this one was only $3. It is huge. I'm going to be using two of these. One of them is going to be the base, and the other is going to be the one I cut into to create the walls of the maze. I'm also going to be using hot glue and a ruler and a pencil. And then that way they don't leave the maze, um, you know, just go over the walls. I will be using cling wrap. And this will allow me to not only keep the snake uh, inside of the maze, but I'll be able to show you guys. So let's get started. So first I used a ruler and a pencil to uh, create a grid on the base, which would show me all the possible places that walls could be put. And so there's the grid. I did the same thing on the base and then cut off excess and then cut out uh, a lot of squares. Also, I um, cut out walls to put around the edges and so I hot glued everything down and the pattern that I want it to and then finally I did place clean wrap on top. So with Aurora, I filmed her for about five or six minutes and well, she just kept going up to the corner and coming back down towards the entrance. She never made her way towards the finish line, which I was surprised and kind of disappointed about as ball pythons are very curious snakes. So it is clear that so far she is the loser out of the three snakes. So as you can see with my garter snake, I was wearing gloves because he is very prone to biting me. Um, but he was doing a lot of stop and go towards the finish line. And ultimately he did not make it to the finish line, but he did find another way out through the clean wrap, thus putting him in second place. Finally, we have Ash. And as you can see, he is making his way down the maze, not wasting any time at all, except for that one spot he kind of got caught in the corner trying to get out of the clean grab. And then he decides to cheat. Of course he cheats. But he did make it to the finish line, which I was very impressed by. He did not waste a second of time. So, coming in third place was my ball python. Um, she never made it to the finish line unfortunately. Coming in second place is my checkered garter snake who also didn't make it to the finish line but he found a way out that was right next to the finish line and was not the entrance. So that was pretty cool. And then first place we have my Florida king snake who made it to the finish line in 30 seconds. I, I mean I was so impressed and surprised because I, I didn't have high hopes after the first two. So, obviously an obstacle course or a maze isn't a, a perfect way to uh, determine how intelligent a snake is, but it is interesting to see which ones will choose to turn around, which ones will choose to stop, which ones will choose to keep going, and which ones are the quickest uh, finding their way out. 
So thank you for watching. Um, don't forget to like and hit that subscribe button if you want to see more. And yeah, that's all I have today.